Good day everybody, Steve here. Today, we are gonna put a receiver hitch on the back of this trailer. Now, everybody wants a receiver hitch so they can put on their, their uh, bike rack and haul some bikes out camping. But if you just, a lot of people what they'll do is they'll just use the U-bolts and put a receiver hitch on it. If you do that, it's not gonna last, I'll guarantee you. You put this out here, you got a couple bikes and you got the bouncing. Even though these look tough, they're not really tough. They're only made of about 16th inch steel. And if they didn't do a good job of attaching it, it's gonna break right off your trailer. I've had a friend that lost his on going down the highway, lost a bike in the process. So in the past, I've done a couple of them. And basically, we are gonna U-bolt a receiver hitch on here but I'm going to support it with a piece of tubing stretching across and bolting into the uh, into the frame rail so if you're really serious about uh, putting in a good system follow along and I'll guarantee you it'll last you a long long time at least you won't lose that nice bike that you just bought okay follow along I'm going to show you what I did Working on the receiver part of everything here now. So nice to be able to work outside. It's just beautiful today. Now, <clears throat> here's my thinking. I cut a couple. Now this is just two by a quarter. And so this is going to go underneath the bumper. So the four inch a four inch bump or the you know the back bumper is going to go on top and now what we're going to do is u-bolt this to that and then my piece going across my two inch i'm going to weld that onto here so what we're going to do i got these six and a half inches long just going to weld them on there like that and then that'll give us something to bolt up to with the uh, with the U-bolts. That makes sense, eh? And then there's a piece of scrap here. I'm going to drill a couple holes in here. And then I'll come in on an angle like this, and then that way you've got something to uh, attach your uh, chains to. All right, I got a little bit more uh, cleaning to do on this, and then we can get uh, welding these up. Got to figure out exactly where they go. That'll probably work better. And we just have to put that at the right number. I'm not going to pre drill the holes in this because I haven't got the U bolts for it yet, so we're not exactly sure what they are. We'll figure it out. Now I took and uh, like if you want a really nice weld, you got to make sure you clean all the slag off.
this is the piece that you just saw me uh, weld the end to. Okay. Now, if this makes sense, we have the uh, we have the frame of the trailer coming out like this, and then the four-inch bumper comes along here. This will go underneath the four-inch bumper, and then this gets welded. This will be on top of here. Make sense? Just say yes. So what we're going to do now is just kind of fit everything together first, drill some holes, and then we know exactly where to, to weld our two inch onto. So we'll have to go to the trailer and do that. Now, when you saw me put this end on, I was using this. Now, if you're a wel beginner welder, one of the first things you should build is something like this. I just built this out of, what is that, one and a half? one and a quarter inch square tubing and it's perfectly 90 so that I can clamp something up and have it perfectly 90. If you're using those magnets that's a hit and miss. You're gonna fight a long time with the magnets. Magnets are, do, are good for some things but when you really have to make it count build yourself a 90. Alright, take the next step we'll drill some holes in here for our receiver, so we can chain up things. You know, one inch holes should work. All right, we got this clamped in here, kind of where we want it to be. And I'm just lining up the U-bolt here, so I can get a center mark. And then I can draw some uh, X's and put a hole in there. That'll look pretty good right there and I'll just measure over okay let's see this side too just see where we're, our measurements are a little different just in case all right now we can drill those holes for the u-bolts all right I got the two inch piece in and we're just measuring where I have to tack it on to. And we are at eight and a half. I'll just kind of move you over so you can kind of see the two inch piece spanning at the back. We're gonna weld that onto the top of the receiver. Perfect. Okay, back to the welding shop. All right, we made a off-camera decision. So basically this, we want to keep everything nice and tight and neat. So we were going to weld this onto the bottom, but this brings us up and doesn't allow us really an easy spot to, to bolt onto the frame. So all I'm going to do to drop this down is just notch it down an inch and a half into the receiver which isn't a big deal. All you have to do is just make a couple cuts and uh, just slip it on, then weld it up. It's just a little bit more work, but it will look better. All right, get the zip cut. Also uh, marked up the uh, holes here for the U-bolts. 
They're uh, three eighths, so we're gonna drill it one size bigger. We don't wanna have to fight. There, now you can kind of see what it's going to look like before we bolt it in. And you can see that uh, that just having that extra 2 inch square tubing attached to the uh, frame will give it enough strength now that it won't pull that other bumper off. Now I used some pretty thick uh, 2 inch stuff. I just had used what I uh, had laying around. But you could go 8th inch. 3 16ths is probably recommended. You could probably pull a boat with that. I'd be confident. Got her all welded up. Now all we have to do is set her into place, drill some holes, she's all done. Now it looks like overkill, but it really isn't because, you know, where we're from, we can actually hook a boat onto the back of a trailer. And this would be strong enough to do that. So, you know, that gives you another option. But eventually, if you put your bike on here, this will break off, this won't. Let's get her set up, drill some holes. We're just marking where the holes need to be. Then we'll take it out and drill them out to half inch. We've got everything bolted up. It looks really, really good. Everything fit well. So this bumper is good to go. Now it just needs a bit of a paint job, but that's up to the homeowner. But that's okay. So now he can, uh, he can take his bikes and never have to worry about his bumper. So take care and uh, we'll catch you on the next project. Thanks for watching.